Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, concealment holsters. I uh, just picked this one up uh, from Nova Concealment. Uh, it's a very good company. They do a lot of gun shows. Louisiana, I think Mississippi, maybe Texas. Um, not really sure where all they go, but uh, you can contact them on Facebook. Um, Nova Concealment. So uh, check them out and I'm going to show you mine. I picked up. I told him I was going to do a video. It's well defined. I don't know if you can see in the camera if it does any justice. It's got a, you know, it's the inside waistband. It's for my SIG P238, 380 caliber. It has, a, you know, of course your belt clip there. It has a tensioning screw with a rubber uh, bushing in there. So you can loosen it or tighten it. Um, the, the, the way that uh, you want it to uh, function for you. Some people like a, a tight retention where you got to really put some pressure on it, pull in pressure to, uh, to get it out. Um, some light, mine is more to the medium to light side. I want it to be able to, you know, got a nice little sound, it clicks, uh, click sound. Got a little, little bit of retention. I could probably loosen that up some. But you can tell, look, holds very well. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's, it's, you know, second to none, really and truly. I've, you know, I got several other inside waistband hosters that do just fine too. But uh, you could tell the detail on this hoster versus some of the other ones that I have. It is real clean looking, sleek. You can adjust your belt clip here, straight up and down to the angle to the side. You can actually put it on your uh, opposite hand, opposite strong hand, so that uh, depending on how you like to wear it, uh, I wear mine right here on my hip. So I'm going to go ahead, take that gun out for a second. We're going to shoot old, I got old, old Bozo over there. Y'all remember him from the last video or one of the videos prior to this one? Well, he's back. He didn't take enough views last time, so we're going to. We're gonna work him out this time, so but uh but that nine miller didn't that nine, nine millimeter didn't do it any justice. Uh you know, you remember we tried to blow the sucker's lungs out, but it would just wouldn't do it. He must be have some superhuman lungs or something. I don't know. But we're gonna try this 380 on it. We're gonna pull from the host, we're gonna shoot one hand. I may go into two hands after I fire a few shots, but Mainly, I just uh, I'm doing this video, and I'm out here practicing, just to uh, build, keep that muscle memory, where my gun's at, pulling it, you know, just where it feels in your hand, how you going to draw. So we always got to be prepared. Uh, we never we never know when we're in a situation where we may need it. Um, so it's getting Christmas time. People shopping. People's in a hurry. People get road rage. They get parking lot rage. You just never know. So, um, but always remember, you know, avoiding a fight is the best thing. You know, uh, if we can avoid one, that's that's goal number one. Stay away. You know, looking, looking, making sure we got a good focal point where we're going. No, uh, there's like you know, no danger around us. Or if it is, you know, you need to be aware and make adjustments accordingly. Uh, so, I won't get into too much of that detail. I'm here to shoot and practice. I got one. One mag, let's see, gotta put it on fire to rack it, got it back on safety. So I'm gonna pull the first time with my safety on. Now, some people are, are, are not comfortable uh, shooting or, or drawing from your uh, holster with the gun off safety, or some guns don't have safeties, uh, any you know mechanical safeties on the, on the frame. So, and some, a lot of them have many different variations of safeties. So whatever you feel comfortable with, that's exactly what you need to focus on and, uh, and just keep practicing, building that confidence and like I said, muscle memory. So without further ado, let's see what old Joe's though. See if we can make that thing bleed a little bit. All right, let me get my ears on. Okay, 
I'm shooting uh, Hornady Critical Defense ammunition. Uh, it's very good ammunition, as you can see. I really don't have any, really no, no issues with it. Let's see. You know me, I like to play around a little bit here. And pull, my, pull my gun here. Let's see. All right. <clears throat> Let me shoot just one, one shot. All right, so let that be a lesson when you, <laughs> I was just trying to, I guess, think what I was about to say and rack another one in. So what I did was when I pulled it, I pulled it slowly and I uh, was trying to see if I had a round in there and I pulled it back a little bit too far and they just don't want to, they, they get loaded in the, uh, the chamber a little crooked. It wasn't set right. Now it's set right. Yeah. So that's the best way. When you pull these slides back, you pull them back and let them go. You know, some people like to just hold back and just, you know, think it might mess their gun up. But it's designed, especially SIG, a yeah, very well designed gun, uh, designed to the function. So treat it like, uh, you know, uh, I guess, don't try to baby it too much. So without further ado, let's go. Let's shoot another round through it, another mag. I'm gonna go from the hip. All right. Well, I'm shooting him center mass. I don't see no blood coming out, so. Oh, Bozo, he's uh, he pretty tough. He pretty tough old clown. All right, now I got the, uh, the sl uh, slim flat butt plate there on the mag, so less less chances it can get hung up. And uh, so we're gonna go. We're gonna try another mag through it. I like to shoot at least three mags when I'm practicing uh, with my carry gun. All right. That's it. So I guess old Jozo, he's going <laughs> to live to see another day. But, uh, oh, wait a minute. I got one other thing to show you before I get off this, uh, this segment here. Look what I got. I got Mr. 9mm. Oh, Jozo said this thing blows lungs out. Well, I got another 9 here to try out. So we're going to try it out and see if we can get old Jozo's. Lungs out. By the way, this is uh, part two of the clown show. So, all right, we go. All right. We'll go look and see if we uh we got the lungs out. Hold on just a second. Let me throw my ears up. Uh no. Let's see here. Okay. I got a couple one couple bullets to the skull here, to the side, right above the ear. I don't see any blood, a little splatter right there. Yeah, there you go. It does have a little blood in there, pink blood. I ain't never seen that before, but you know. Look on the back side. No. Right in here. I don't see where any lugs, lungs come out, so. Hmm. I don't know. Is it true or not, folks? Nine millimeters, blow lungs out. Don't look like it. But anyway, I'm um, glad y'all stuck around with me through this video. Look, um,. Man, I just hit over 400 subs on my, my videos, on my channel. And I uh, just want to give all y'all a shout out. Thank y'all for subbing to my channel, watching my videos. Um, stay tuned because there'll be some more videos. I think I got a friend supposed to drop by today. He's supposed to be in this video with me. He's one of my oldest friends, 
with the elementary school with. And uh, he's, uh, he's living out of town. He's home for, well, he's back to see his parents and family for a little while. Hopefully I can get him on the channel and, you know, have a little fun with him shooting, carrying on, who knows, you know, bring back some old memories. We used to go up in all these woods right here when we were little kids. Squirrel hunting, bird hunting, rabbit hunting, whatever we could find, you know, shooting pellet guns and and uh, BB guns and stuff like that. So uh, it'd be good to see him. And who knows, we might do a little video or something. So, uh, yeah, so uh, sub to my channel. If you hadn't subbed, hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I uh, upload the next video. I got uh, a few more uh, guns coming in to be able to, you know, bring you guys and, you know, just try them out. Straight out the box, out of a box uh, review kind of thing. So um, thank you to uh, Nova Concealment. Guys, you know, check them out. They're on Facebook, Nova Concealment. I'm pretty sure that that's it. If you Google it or uh, hit the search on the uh, Facebook, maybe Instagram, you'll see Nova Concealment. And uh, tell them old Wade sent you from Bear Creek TV. Look, guys, thank you again. Always stay prepared, stay safe, and we're going to see you on the next one.